Hello everyone, Patchy War here. And in this video, it's kind of, you know, I'm gonna talk about this whole confusion between Hongi and Puffy Paws and GNG, between two companies pretty small that could have been bigger, and another company that's a lot bigger. Kind of hitting on each other. And I just want to say, before I get to that though, first I just want to say, for being in this inflatable community was kind of both fun and depressing at the same time. What made it so much fun though, was that whew, I saw a lot of beautiful inflatables on video and picture on YouTube and Google+. It was nice, and I even got some of my, for myself. Only by Inflatable World, though. As you saw, I have the Chipmunk and the Dark Brown Horse. And I've been into Inflatables since I was, like, 13. Since I got into my teens, or I think I was, like, 12. Yeah, it was pretty... Yeah, I think I was 13. It was pretty, you know, I was still pretty young in my early teens. Now what made it kind of depressing though was that was by the time when I was like 17 when Hongi started making products that were already made by Puffy Paws and GNG. I was looking around, I was like, wait a minute. Because I was also a Puffy Paws follower. I used to follow those guys until I figured out what's been going on between them. And GNG. I used to like their products as well. Until what happened. Now, no one really knows if Hongi is responsible for stealing these designs. You don't really know if these products are stolen or not. Because even if they were stolen, it's not Hongi's fault. Hongi doesn't even know what the heck is going on. I know what's really going on. Because it took me a long time to figure out this whole criticism. Pretty darn long. Here are the top five reasons why... Puffy Paws and GNG are failing to Hongi. And remember, it took me pretty long to figure all this out. Reason number one why Puffy Paws and GNG are failing to Hongi. Customer dissatisfaction. Now you might be asking, how is such a most beloved brand suffering customer dissatisfaction? Well, that's easy. Customers have had enough with Puffy Paws and have been leaving them. And GNG, they've been losing their customers pretty badly, harshly as well. They've been fed up for other reasons as well. Customers were like, you know, we can't get anything from these guys. Why are they so limited? Come on, they're bigger than this. I know they have so much money. They're just not using it. They just don't have enough. For everyone. And speaking of not having enough, we'll get to there in just a quick second, because this, this, this is another thing I need to say about this. Customers are your bread and butter. Satisfied customers equal money. You stay in business by getting money, and you get money by satisfied customers. So if you get satisfied customers, you get their money that you need to stay in business and keep yourself running. But since you guys didn't have enough, which is now bringing us to reason number two why you guys are failing. Reason number two, understock. Customers have had enough with this one the most. Customers have, and followers were like, seriously, we know they have a lot of money. People have paid these guys so much for one of their very original designs. And they just, you know, they make so limited copies, like 10, 15, or 20 copies of, let's see, let's say the Puffy Paws Bunny, the Pink Puffy Paws Bunny. I heard that was pretty darn limited. It was very satisfying. Everyone wanted it. And there's also the Grey Husky, which they actually sold more than the Bunny. But still, that was limited as well. They were like, oh my gosh, how are they so limited 
with their products if they know that they can make more for us. Not knowing that the population of inflatables is actually starting to rise. Well, let me tell you guys this. If you guys understock these products, you're not going to get any money. And let's see, there's another product. The Timberwolf. When you guys made the Timberwolf, that was the one that was very satisfying. There was a problem, though. You guys had very few. Customers are like, ooh, the new Timberwolf. Oh, I'm definitely getting it. Oh, darn it. It's all sold out. Yeah, because before anyone can else before anyone could get it, you're all sold out. And then later on you guys make reruns. But let me tell you guys this, your reruns suck too, because those are even more limited. Hey look, more Timberwolves. Oh, too late, sold out. Because there are a ton of customers that want it. And they're gonna be gone before anyone else has a chance of getting one. You have to be so lucky to get one. Another way of probably like getting is contacting the company themselves. In GNG, let me see. GNG, you have to contact them as well. If you're satisfied for their products. Except, I heard that contacting them is actually very difficult. GNG didn't really do a good job. For Puffy Paws, after for like releasing one of the very original products, the Blue Sea Dragon. Oh yeah, the Blue Sea Dragon. I heard you guys made a lot of those. I heard you guys got raged. By customers for that sea dragon. Bunch of furries, bunch of inflatable lovers really wanted them. You guys made a you guys made a fortune out of that one. And you guys were making more. So if you guys could sell a lot of those, why not the rest of your designs? Well, I heard you guys have also been announcing your reruns and some of your other products and new ones as well but no one else even knows about them you don't even contact them unless they're on wait hold on that's bringing us to reason number three why you guys are failing reason number three why puffy pods and gng are failing to hangi poor advertising now there's a problem now you guys do advertise here's the problem though about it you're only on one social media twitter and that's a problem. Hongi, here's what they do. Not Hongi doesn't just have a lot of products for everyone. However, they're everywhere. You can find them on Facebook, you can find them on Twitter, you can find them on Google Plus, and most most of their employees have YouTube channels advertising their products. And that's what helps them get a lot of attention. Because if you're only on Twitter, how are you gonna let people know that your products even exist? If you guys are only going to be advertising, like, one product on YouTube, yeah, the Sea Dragon, your biggest selling one. I found your guys' YouTube channel, and you only advertise the Sea Dragon. If Hongi could do all of their other products, and even email their customers more upcoming designs or designs that are on sale, why not you guys? Customers, yeah, like I said, you guys have so much money. You could have done this earlier. You guys just sit around and waste your time just, you know, doing this very small business that should have expanded. If you guys are only advertising on Twitter, only people on, the, on Twitter have a chance. I even heard that even people on Twitter also hardly get a chance on getting some of your products as well. Announcing your reruns and all that stuff. You guys don't really get any attention. Because, yeah, you announced a rerun, too late, sold out. Oh, here comes another rerun, too late, sold out. And before the chance, you guys are looking forward to this upcoming rerun. Finally, the rerun has started. Come on, I gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta get him. Too late. You have zero chance. They're all sold out. But people who are not on Twitter, by the time they hear about it, it's too late. You have no chance of getting it. And seriously, why can't you guys expand? Reason number four why Puffy Paws and GNG are failing to Hongi. They are not evolving. 
like I keep saying, you guys have so much money. People know you have this much money. People know you guys are actually wealthy enough to keep going. There's a problem though. If you guys don't evolve, how are you going to keep your business running? Think about it. Do you guys remember Blockbuster Video? Those guys didn't evolve. So Netflix took their customers from them. Just like what Hongi's right now doing to you. That's right. Hongi customers used to be your followers. These guys used to be your supporters. They're not anymore. Because you guys didn't evolve. You guys didn't advertise properly. And you guys didn't increase the stocks of your satisfying products that everyone wanted. You guys make them so rare. For just keep going small like that. If you're not evolving, you're a rival. Hongi's gonna keep rising right up, and you guys are gonna keep going down. And worst of all, I heard you guys are actually going out of business, and having no evolution explains it. That's one of the big reasons, that's one of the, you know, explanations that actually tells us all that I don't even think these guys are gonna survive for any longer. These guys are so poor with business, they're not gonna live on. Hongi's gonna take the cake. They're gonna win. And to believe so, you guys may hate me for this, but I don't give a crap what the heck you guys say. I'm a Hongi customer. I don't have any of their products yet, however, I am getting some. I have them all listed down, of which ones I want. And I'm in contact with them. I even contacted, like, four of their employees. And they know that I'm going to buy their products sometime. Why? Because they're a lot bigger. And even they're, they're evolving. They know that they're gaining popularity. Now you might be asking, like, seriously, who cares? Forget them for stealing. Well, that's a bad question. Don't ask who cares when I just said that they're more popular and that they have a lot of supportive customers. So technically, who cares? More than you think ton of them. See, yeah, yeah, having your products taken away from you by another brand, technically, that's not Hongi. That's the Hongi customers. The Hongi customers are the ones that are taking your designs and your products and sending them to Hongi. Because remember, Hongi is a custom brand. They only make products from custom art designs. And they're very aware of, of copyright theft. And speaking of which, Hongi customers taking your products away brings us to, to the last reason. Reason number five why you guys are failing. No copyright protection. Puffy Paws, GNG, you guys didn't sign a copyright policy to your products to keep them protected. And artists that send your designs to these companies, you didn't put any copyright protection to your own artwork. You guys didn't protect your artwork. Because if you don't protect your artwork, you're going to get robbed. You don't protect your products, you're going to get robbed. And your products are for free. That's how it works in markets like this today. Copyright policies and protections are required for your products. Inflatable World did it. That's how they didn't have any of their designs hijacked well while well, they did have some a couple of models that were you know copied for certain customs because of you know copyright protection they had to change the color still no copyright protection you guys you guys let this happen to you this is what happens when you don't write a copyright policy your products are for free, and the companies will have the rights to making them and selling them, and they're going to get away with it. And there's nothing you can do about it once it's too late. You try getting the law on them now, you try suing them now, it ain't going to work. No copyright protection. 
that's how Hongi customers got products designs from Puffy Paws and GNG and sent them to Hongi so they could make designs for, of their own. And customers are so satisfied with this popular brand because they support more than just furries. Hongi also supports bronies and other fans of cartoons, different other cartoons like even Pokemon or certain Disney movies. And Puffy Paws, with even a lack of support, a lack of evolution, lack of stock, lack of advertising, giving them a lack of customers, explains why they are failing and why they're soon going out of business. Right now I heard that Puffy Paws just made a brand new Snow Leopard. And I heard it's they're trying to make up for their understock mistake. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's kinda too late already. But still, for these five reasons, explains why you guys are failing. I hope this taught you guys something. You guys didn't evolve. You guys didn't protect your products. You guys didn't increase the amount of products. You guys didn't advertise properly. And because of those, you lost customers. Customers became dissatisfied. And those are the top five reasons why Puffy Paws and GNG are failing to Hongi. Now before I end this video, I just want to say, despite flaws from... You might be wondering, does Hongi have flaws of their own? Well, yes, they have a couple of flaws. They have more than just this whole theft thing. Hongi, one of their biggest problems that they're having is with their printing machines and the ink that they are using to, you know, design the looks of, the, of any inflatable you purchase. People have been saying, after you finally get your product, you inflate it, paint starts to come off, and it starts losing its color, and starts to lose its its look. Now, don't get me wrong, there's been a lot of those. Hongi's working on it, though. They're just having a problem with their machines, and they're having a problem with the supplies they're using. They're working on it, they're doing their best. They're trying to fix that. So despite that problem, Hongi's still a pretty good brand. I trust them. And with a bunch of other trustworthy customers that really love their products, I'm up for them. I'm definitely up for like, uh, let's see, some of their tigers and some more horses and some of their dragons as well. Oh wait, since I'm a brony, I'm definitely going for some of those My Little Pony inflatables. I want some of those Fluttershy models. I'm, I'm up for those. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys understand what's going on. And I will be coming up with some more inflatable videos soon. Right now, I'm not going to get any more big inflatables, probably until, like, fall this year, because there are other things that I'm actually right now working on, and there are also other videos that I make for this channel, more than just inflatable videos, of course. Before... For some inflatable videos, I'll be reviewing more of my family members, of my inflatable family, and probably make some special stop motion videos with my inflatables. It was an idea by a, by a real friend of mine. Well guys, that's it for this video. I'll be seeing you folks next time. I'll be doing my best to, you know, collect some more inflatables for all you inflatable fans out there. Just remember, I also I also upload different videos. I make reaction videos. I make gameplay videos. I also do other reviews. And I do some vlogs. So, I'll see you guys next time. See ya. That's you, Warrior. Out.